What's up Taurus? Welcome to your March mid-month tarot card reading. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks for joining me today on the channel. I really appreciate your time. So like I said, I'm going to be doing a March mid-month reading and I'll be using the um, Essential Tarot deck to do that. What I'm going to do is deal out four anchor cards and then I will read four clarifying cards against those initial cards to generate your reading. So um, these are general readings, guys. Might not resonate with you 100%. I mean, it's awesome if they do, but, you know, just leave whatever doesn't work for you for somebody else on the channel. So I do take clients. All my information's in the description box or the About tab. So um, if you want a personal reading, just let me know that way. Anyway, Taurus, March mid-month. Let me know how you're doing in the comments, guys. Love to see your comments. I do my best to respond to each and every one of you, but as the comments grow, and you know, it, it can be a challenge to keep up, but I'm reading them. I might not always respond with words, but I'm reading them. So the, this looks like it's gonna be your month here, Taurus. We've got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is moving swiftly towards their target. They're not messing around. You can see that this guy is like charging in um, full bore, ready to go. That's an attack face. Let's see what's going on here. You've got the Two of Pentacles here, which means that you probably have quite a bit going on. Um, but it's not, it's not daunting you in any sort of way. Um, I think what you've got going on here is you've got like an internal warrior thing happening, but outwardly you're calm and cool and somebody looking at you, observing you, would not get the impression that you are like going full bore right now. And if you look at the background of this card, you can see storming water and like waves are just tossing all over the place and the dark sky and probably a high wind blowing, but super calm person in this card just doing whatever it takes to get things done. Six of Pentacles here, whoops. Six of Pentacles is, uh, it's basically an indication of being like sufficiently wealthy, um, having enough money to be able to share with others, um, whether that be somebody in your family that you just wanna help out or, you know, those less fortunate like homeless people or um, just donating to food banks or, or wherever. Um, this could conversely also be about uh, somebody gifting you with some money to help you move forward um, towards your goal. <laughs> Best card ever. So this is the Ten of Pentacles, guys. This is, this is the most like abundantly comfortable card in the deck, in my opinion. This tells of abundance on all fronts, definitely related to fi finances because it's the pentacles and that's related to your material wealth. But if you look at this card, it's like happy family. You've got the couple there, like multi-generational. Everybody's just blissful and existing in love and um, abundant something or other. I was going to say love again, but that would have sounded stupid. So all right, so we've got the Knight of Swords here. You guys are definitely, you've got a, like, you've got a steel rod where your spine should be. You really um, have sort of a take no prisoners attitude and that could be related to any aspect of your life actually. It could be, you know, your love life, it could be your business life, could be anything. So let's pull a clarifying card here. You guys are definitely um, not messing around, whatever it is, so let's see. What else we have here for you? Nice, We've got the Ace of Rods here, you guys. So the Ace is, um, it's the universe bringing you a gift. And this is related to something new. You have a new idea. Um, so I'm seeing these two cards together that you have a new idea related to something. Um, and there's just too many people, like the, the energy is, you know, it's collective energy, so I can't drill down into what that might be unless I do um, like a one-on-one -on -one read, right? So um, the universe is bringing you inspiration with the Ace of Rods. And it's just a beautiful, like, look how beautiful this card is, you guys. Blooming, sunshine, everything's like the, is that mountains? Oh, I have to, I'm 
going blind. Um, like there's a castle in the background and everything. Like it's just, everything's stunning. This is like something that you are doing. You're creating it where nothing was before. Did you like my little flower? Um, and you're going for it. Whatever that idea is. That could be the idea of getting married. That could be the idea of creating a business. It could be the idea of moving. You know what I mean? So um, let's have a look at what this Two of Pentacles means. The Two of Pentacles is an indication of, like it's, it's somebody that is burning the candle at both ends. They're, they're working um, their butt off. You know, they're just um, really high energy moving forward. And let's see what this card is all about here with the Two of Pentacles. King of Rods. Yeah, you guys definitely are moving forward. The King of Rods, is, this is the energy of somebody that is, um, like they're not, they're not taking no for an answer in whatever it is. Like this, when, this is the type of person that they're in a high gear, accomplish phase. Um, and you have, in the background here, you've got the lion, which is a, the like the card of strength so that is combined here with the king of rods who is the type of person that would be you know when you see somebody that is really successful in what they do um where they just make no bones about what they want they put their they put their plan down on paper and then they action it and then they accomplish it and they move on to the next thing this is this is what you are doing right now. You have so much that you want to get done. And again, like look at the background of this card. Like you've got ships tossing on the water. It's like things are happening around you. Um, it could be tumultuous for you, but you don't care. You're good. And you've got your eye where it needs to be focused on the future. And you're moving towards it with like this utmost clarity. Amazing. You guys are like in it to win it right now. So let's have a look at the Six of Pentacles. So like I was saying, the Six of Pentacles is like you giving or somebody giving to you. But there is just a general aura of um, knowing that there's money all around you. Amazing. So um, I just had the Eight of Pentacles pop out of the card here, which is, this is, um, whoops, um, this is you preparing to bring more money in for yourself. There's a pentacle here being used for like um, a workbook or studying. It could be a novel, but you're taking from it what you need to give you this, to move forward with the Knight of Swords. Um, you know, this just isn't, this isn't just a like a, I need a word here. Not a hunch, but you know what I mean? It's not a whim. This is something that you're dead serious about. So you're taking it seriously. Um, you know, you're, you're journalizing, you're doing whatever it takes. And I definitely see that as a result of this, this work that you're putting in right now, this is gonna be you being generous with other people because you can, because you worked hard for it, because you, have this Knight of Swords energy where you're not taking no for an answer and you have the, the King of Rods energy where the, definitely nothing's going to stop you right now. And like for some of you, you could just be in the idea phase and some of you are ready to get that going. Um, and some of you could be realizing that you need to do a little bit more work, more study, more um, just general brushing up of skills or knowledge. Um, you you need to be doing that your whole life, basically. Like there's there's never an end to learning, right? Um, in my opinion. So um, let's see what's happening here with this 10 of pentacles. It's, I love this card for you guys. And then we've got the knight of cups. So the knight of cups, this is a, again, another action card. Knights are about action, something happening. And the, the cups is, this is really like 
a romantic invitation basically so and this has aspected underneath the ten of pentacles so I think this is generally where you want to be you know um, you're building that solid foundation because you want to be able to provide for your family um, if you're not married yet I think it's part of your overall plan uh, some of you could be planning an engagement or uh, looking for somebody to marry and have a family with. And this is your long-term goal. And I'm definitely seeing it in the cards here for you guys. Um, uh, like once you, and I, I'm definitely seeing this as like step one, two, three, four. You have gotten your idea with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Rods. Like you've gotten this idea, very fertile, um, very solid for you guys. And then you're putting your plan into action. Again, nobody's stopping you. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. You're staying cool and calm and you're moving forward because you just have this end goal in sight and you're gonna put in whatever energy it takes. Um, you know, and you're still gonna have that generous spirit. You know why you're doing this. And then your end goal is your family. Whether or not you do wanna get married, you wanna take care of your family. And that is um, coming from your heart. So that's what I'm seeing here for Taurus. Uh, I'm seeing a really abundant mindset for you guys. It's definitely going to happen. And this is a really long-term goal for you guys. So I'm not sure. Some of you, it could be happening within this year. But some of you, this could be 5, 10 years into the future. But nothing is going to stop you. I think you're really... Um, um, you're, you're fixed on this and you're not going to stop until you get it. And you're going to keep on going because I think your family is your driving force right now. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm getting for the card, from the cards for you guys right now for your mid-month read. So I'll wrap it up for now and I'll see you back next time. Thanks, you guys. Bye.